Hi guys, a big happy new year to you. It's actually New Year's Day right now and I'm feeling inspired to move around my studio. Um, I call it a studio, but it really is just like a three meter by three meter space in our lounge room. So I'll give you a tour of that in a minute. And then I thought I would take you along with me as I change it up. I've got a little bit of new lighting and some new camera equipment. And I'm just keen on getting a fresh new start in a studio for the year of 22. So let's get started and I'll bring you with me on how we can make this studio space feel nice and fresh. Okay, so as you can see, this desk here in the front is where I do all of my overhead filming for my bullet journal and art videos. So that's like the main space for this office. So I really wanted to try and get a nice background in it so I can do nice intros and have a nice background, but it needs to be really practical and functional so the lighting is good. So that is the biggest challenge in this space, trying to get that into a good spot. And my husband and I work in this office together, so we need to um, make sure we've got enough space in it. We think we've figured one out in our minds that we're going to put it like sort of vertical within the space. So I'm gonna change that up now and see how it works. Fingers crossed. Okay, so we have a nice blank space now. I've moved the art desk out the way. And I'm actually thinking that I'm wanting to use this wall as my backdrop. So I'm thinking of all the art stuff, all of this stuff in this big unit here, and my computer desk will all run on this wall and we'll just have to move my husband's art desk to the other corner. It's all dark and you know, black screen in every way, so you can just go in the dark corner for now. <laughs> Okay, so we have a clear space now. The desk area is all out, my husband's desk, so that's all clear. And I've taken everything off that shelf and the whiteboard down. So now I can move all this side across here and yeah, get it looking a little bit better. It's nice having all this space in here, but I'm sure that won't last. <laughs> Okay, we're about two hours-ish in. I haven't been timing and I can almost completely forgot about lunch, um, but luckily my kids are here, they reminded me. <laughs> so I've had lunch now and I'm feeling a little bit exhausted, but I've got to keep going because it looks um, like an absolute mess. It's like World War III in here. So let's get continuing. We have the basic structure there. Now I've got to fill it all back up, plug everything in, and then I'll show you how it looks. Okay. All right. I think we're a little bit too tight there. So it turns out that my desk in the corner feels very squishy up against my husband's desk, and I think I'm just going to, you know, bash into it every time I'm going in and out. So I'm going to change it up and move his desk against that wall, um, and hopefully that'll just give us a little bit more space to move around a bit. I think I feel better about that. I think we'll be able to work much better in this space. Sorry about the laughing, they're watching a movie out there. Um, yeah, I was really really worried about the light coming in from that window because it was going to be blocked by my husband's two like computer screens anyway. So I think that'll be much better for light. And then I'm also going to be putting back a divider, like a room divider that goes here so that we won't actually see 
all the, you know, the messy computer stuff, hopefully, from when you enter the lounge room. Because we like to kind of section this part off so that you can have your nice lounge room space and then a separate office study. So, let's get going. You wanna say hi? Hi. This is my duster here. She's been dusting things for me. <laughs> I'm cleaning. I'm cleaning. Good job. With a wipe. Yes, with wipes. Brilliant. I forgot, they probably can't hear anyway. Hang on, come over here. Oh, happy day! Okay, so it's all moved around now and I'll do a reveal soon, but I just wanted to set up my desk with the new stuff that I mentioned. So Elgato were very lovely and sent me some things to use to help my setup and my production quality. So thank you so much, Elgato. What they've sent me is a ton of stuff um, like for the mounting of the camera. So you saw that big rig that I used before, very bulky and cluttered. This should hopefully free some space up and make me feel a little bit less industrial. So it's just like this master mount L, which is going to like attach to the desk and then there'll be another arm that comes out and then my camera will be above so I can film all the top downs. And then I've got like a heavy base and then this key light, which I am dying to open up. This thing weighs a ton, do not drop that on your foot. Oh, there we go. And now I've got this key light, so that will help light the space nice and even. I had rows of LEDs, which worked really well, but like I said, it's just so bulky and cluttered. So it would be nice to have something that is just simple and clean. So let's open him up. Okay, so that's the light head, I don't know the words, the LED panel. And then this is just gonna to attach onto this pole. And you got your cables, nice and simple and clean, and it'll give me nice bright light. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up my desk and then I'm gonna even try and see how I'm going to work with it and make sure it's all good before I show you the final walkthrough of the studio. Okay, so I am officially set up. I'm so excited to use this space because it's not cluttered anymore. The rig that I had is gone and now I've just got this nice simple um, master mount with a solid arm coming off holding the camera, which if you're interested is a Panasonic Lumix G5, GH5, and I really love that. It's been really, really great. And then the new key light here, which is mounted on the heavy mount base at, on the floor. So it's nice and clean and I can use this whole desk space without worrying about, you know, knocking my head like I used to do. So yeah, really happy with this setup. Thank you Elgato for sending it to me. And now I will show you exactly how the space looks and a little clip of me um, scribbling something so that you can see how the setup turned out. If you can hear those helicopters overhead, it's because there's a fire. Gosh, the windows are rumbling from them. Um, there's actually a fire, like, two minute to drive from me. I can see the smoke outside right now. So hoping that they get that under control quickly. Um, a little bit worrying being so close to us, but you know, they are amazing people, firefighters, and I'm sure they'll get it under control soon. So anyway, I will now show you the rest of the studio and the final setup. <laughs> Okay, so here we are in the final setup. I'm really happy with how it turned out and I can't wait to get started on some videos in here. 
for a fresh new year. There's I hope it wasn't too much of a boring video watching me change furniture around, but I know some of you wanted to see where I work and my little studio tour, so this was it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. And I really like watching this kind of stuff as well, and there's nothing better than like having a fresh start and just rejigging your surroundings to you know inspire some new energy into a room and into a project as well. So sometimes if you're feeling a little bit lackluster about something, maybe try changing up the layout of something. And I'm so glad we did this anyway because um, it really needed a dust in here. So now I know that I'm in a nice clean room ready to start fresh for the new year. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. And I'll see you in my next video next week when I'm creating a massive painting of Venice for above my bed. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.